Hi guys, welcome back. This time you can see me. I hope you watched the last Halloween special or else if you don't watch it within 24 hours I will haunt you for life. And if you don't like, share and subscribe I will also haunt you for life. Anyways, this Halloween special I will be introducing another one of my monsters. Enjoy. Bye. You had to do it again. This is my channel. Who is this? The pumpkin. <coughs> the pumpkin. I told you not to do this. How could you betray me? Where do you think you're going? Anyways, guys, welcome to Halloween Social 2. Part 2. So again, I'm filming at night. Because <laughs> why not? This Halloween special, as you've read by the title, is about a bird. A bird. Birds. Such pure animals. Such beauty. Peacefulness. And also very cute. But as you read the title, this bird isn't any Okay, it's actually someone's birthday and my mother behind the camera. It's also her birthday. Oh, so sweet. So this bird is not the bird that you normally see. As you read the title, this bird has dirty secrets. <laughs> yes. This bird is the gl the Galapagos Mockingbird. Okay. What? It's just a bird. Or is it a monster? Looking by at its cute face, you don't think it's a monster. Oh my. But it's actually Dracula. I'm afraid of it. So the Galapagos mockingbird is a species of mocking. What is this bird? It's a paper toy. It's paper made. Paper made. Have you? Have you done this? Yes. And cool. show me. Show us. Cool trick. It's wings. I can see it. Wings? It looks like real. Wait a oh bit. Oh my. Stress it. Wow. Wow. And this one. Wait. This one is also the same. Uh uh. Uh oh. Same. Okay, so the Galapagos, okay, you can stay here. The Galapagos Mockingbird, species of Mockingbird, which is, um, is it, which is endemic, meaning it's, it belong, it only lives in one place. It is endemic to Ecuador and the Galapagos Islands, meaning the Galapagos Archipelago. Mm. They're um, they're in the genus Mimicidae, yeah. the family Mimicidae. They're they're in the genus Mimus or Mimus. No one speaks Latin anymore, so you it doesn't matter how you pronounce it. Just matters how you spell it. Okay. Yes, scientific names are Latin. Yes, Mimus or Mimus in Latin means mini or tiny. Mm. But the tiny vampires. Vampire? These birds um, have spore of spore four species in their genus. Yeah. All four of the species um, originated from one ancestral species in one and they 
and actually they came from one colonization event a colonization event is basically when animals go to another place and colonize that place so these birds evolved from a from one species all four of the species evolved from one ancestral species from one colonization event These birds have long legs, tails, these stripy wings, and this long, decurved beak. We'll return to this cute beak later on. Mm -hmm. These birds most are omnivorous, meaning they eat plants and meat. So they eat fruits, nuts, all the way to eggs, and baby sea turtles. Actually... Hold on guys, please wait. I can't show you the other two. Wait guys, hold on. Okay, here we can see it pecking at some plant. So guys, um, they, they will eat turtles and they also eat Sea lion placentas. Can't explain what that is. So these birds eat all those normal bird stuff. I mean, it's not rare for you to see a little bird pecking at stuff at the beach, like maybe sea turtles or placentas, because seagulls do that, right? It's just a little bird. That doesn't make sense, right? These birds will actually sometimes go near injured birds and Suck their blood. <gasps> Look at this poor guy. <gasps> a big bird. Look at this one. It's a chick. And its neck's getting pecked out. <gasps> so cruel. Look at this snake. Its tail got bitten off. Well, it's not a snake, it's an iguana. A marine iguana. Poor enough, I can see. <laughs> Let's go back to the beauty of these birds. <laughs> these, they use their decurved beak to peck at the injury. And the birds will never notice. Yes. These vampires aren't afraid of the light. They, they are fly around them. Hypocrite. You could say that. <sighs> so yeah, these birds are found in at least the Galapagos uh, mockingbird is found in the Galapagos archipelago. But I will find mockingbirds all over the Galapagos archipelago and Ecuador. The country, not the latitude, equator. It sometimes gets a bit confusing. Anyways guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!